This is Star Talk. I'm going to start off with one that I like a lot from Mike Dotson, who comes to us from Earth and Facebook. Okay. <laughs> because we agreed, if they don't say where they're from, you're going to say they're from Earth. They're from Good. Earth. Thank so you. people, start telling me where you're from okay. when you send these in, please. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, if there was a superhero whose power was to see the whole spectrum of light, what do you think he or she would see, and what could we learn from him or her? So that, first of all, this, this uh, person doesn't exist in superhero land. Uh, so that's what I think is cool about this. But l what if your power was to see all the spectrum of light mm -hmm. at once? Such a person has already been created in the world of science fiction. Oh. It's Jordy on Star Trek. That is correct, sir, because he is absolutely blind, but he uses his visor to see all the different spectrums of light. Correct. He has full, wide spectrum vision of the world. That's right. And... Uh, it was quite a discovery in astrophysics that there's more to the universe than just visible light detectable by your retina. It was, it, it was I count it as one of the great demotions of human physiology, hmm. where you learn that this cherished sense that we have called sight, sight right. is actually quite feeble relative to all the things that are seeable out there in this world. So we're not seeing anything. We ain't seeing jack. And in fact, you, you are familiar with the other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, whether or not you knew that that's what they were. So ultraviolet, right. x-rays, right. gamma, gamma rays, rays, infrared, microwaves, radio waves, all of this, including visible light, are part of a continuum of electromagnetic energy. Wow. And so if you could see all of that, it would be a really visually noisy world. Okay. Because if I'm looking at you now, you'd be glowing with infrared at your 98.6 degrees. Right. I look at your cell phone, it would be glowing with, with microwaves. Right. If Oh, by the way, if you could see all spectrum, if you're driving the car, you'd be able to see the police the police uh, radar gun right. from a mile away. Right, he's shooting at you from, right. Right, you say, oh, let me slow down. I got you, right? And, and even if he had a laser radar gun, you'd be able to see Yeah, you'll be, no matter the frequency of light, right? Right. So, so it would, you'd be immensely empowered to know what's going on in this world. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's kind of like Predator, right? But he, uh, no, he only no, was able to see his I, infrared. Uh, yeah, Predator saw infrared. Infrared. Plus, consider the Predator, the film. Plus, in that movie, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> we had infrared scopes in the day. Right. And what you saw in the infrared scopes is what it looked like to him. Right. Okay. However, the infrared scopes are like low resolution, right? You just see these blobs. Yes, moving. blobs are moving. Right, right. right. Just these amorphous kind of blobs. Right. If he was an alien and had advanced technology, he'd be able to see infrared with as much detail as you see visible light. Wow. Why not? Exactly. He'd be able to see like the the the, the hands are a little cool, slightly cooler than the rest right. of the body because it's an extremity. He'd be able to see all these details. But the best we can think of doing is give him the damn low resolution infrared scopes and just see a bunch of blobs. And see a bunch of blobs right. moving around. But so he had infrared sight, and but uh, it's not clear that he could see in other wavelengths. That wasn't obvious. So that's actually a very cool superhero to be able to see in every spectrum. Yeah, all you, at you once. can see, but then uh, for me, a hero has to do something about. You got you got to do something. See, I have <laughs> I, I have very low expectations for my heroes. <laughs> you, you, you like the data taking superhero? Yes, exactly. <laughs> my my superhero just shows up and tells me stuff. <laughs> Like his power is that's hot. Don't touch it. <laughs> this is Star Talk.